Hey folks, it's Alexa R, and today we're reviewing the best entrenching tools for camping and survival, so stick around. Entrenching tools, e-tools, survival or folding shovels. Call this device whatever you want, but one thing's for sure, you need one in your bug out bag, car kit, or camping backpack. E-tools have been around since the start of civilization. From its beginnings as a humble digging instrument, the modern e-tool has now evolved into a multi-purpose item that should be in every outdoorsman's backpack or bug out bag. Want to know which e-tools are worth your time and money? In this review, we tested six of the best entrenching tools in the market today. I know you're excited, so let's get right into it. First on our list is the Tac Niner Collapsible E-Tool Shovel. There's a lot to love about this trifold E-Tool, but what won us in the end was the balance between its portability and strength. First, this E-Tool only weighs around 2 pounds, so it's not a chore to bring around in a car kit, bug out bag, or backpack. What's great is that it also comes with its own hard carrying case, making the Tac Niner compact and portable. Next, it's quite robust and can handle a lot of tough jobs. The Tac Niner's grip is great, and its threaded lock system is very secure. During testing, it never loosened up, and its pointed shovel head was able to dig through various types of terrain, including packed soil and rocky ground. Its serrated edges may need a bit of sharpening out of the box, but they still did a pretty decent job cutting and chopping roots and branches. All in all, the Tac Niner collapsible E-Tool shovel checked all the right boxes despite being the new kid on the block. At its affordable price point, it provided excellent performance and quality, making it our top pick for this review. Gerber's multi-tools have been a hit or miss based on our previous reviews, so it's a good thing that their entrenching tool did not disappoint this time. Made from a combination of glass-filled nylon, aircraft-grade aluminum, and carbon steel, the Gerber E-Tool folding spade is light yet insanely durable. Despite its angular handle, it's got a textured, ergonomic grip too. Its shovel head is somewhat wider and less pointed, which is great if you need to cover a wide area. It may not be best for functions that need a hoe or pick though. Its winning feature is definitely its serrated edges. They're sharp out of the box and can definitely take on heavier cutting jobs. The biggest and perhaps only downside to the Gerber is its price. At around $50, it's more expensive than the other e-tools in this list. For comparison, the Tech Niner cost about half the price, and it performed just as well, if not better. If you want a robust e-tool and don't mind shelling out a few bucks, then the Gerber e-tool folding spade could be for you. Up next is our only straight handle shovel, the Cold Steel. This e-tool looks like a zombie apocalypse weapon, and it can probably cut down a few of the undead if need be. Its hardwood handle has a nice balanced grip, and the shovel's edges are wicked sharp. We just wish it came with a hard carrying case, so you wouldn't accidentally hurt yourself or damage your stuff with a shovel head. The fixed handle could of course be a boon or bane depending on your needs. On one hand, it's insanely sturdy and secure. On the other hand, you can fold the cold steel to a more compact size. Unlike folding e-tools, you also can transform it into a makeshift seat or a grappling hook. If you want a straightforward entrenching tool that can also double as a hatchet, then the cold steel is a great choice. But if versatility and portability are your priorities, then this might not be the best e-tool for you. The SOG folding shovel is one of the smaller e-tools in this list. Its greatest advantage is obviously its size. It's compact and weighs about half a pound lighter than the bigger e-tools in this list. Made from an all-metal construction, the SOG is decent enough for small tasks around the camp. You can't expect it to do a lot of heavy-duty digging and cutting, though. Its locking mechanism also got stuck at one point. Despite its serrated edge, cutting and chopping remained to be a weak point for the SOG. It couldn't cut through small roots and shoots. If you're on the tall side, this tiny shovel can be a literal pain in the back and knees. Overall, the SOG is a tiny folding shovel that can do decent camp work. It's not the best if you're doing anything more than that, though. This next one is another small e-tool, the Fobachi Military Survival Folding Shovel. 
At first glance, the Fubachi looks formidable. But that's just it. Performance-wise, it didn't wow as much. Instead of a trifold design, the Fubachi can be disassembled at the handle and folded at the head. The handle kept loosening during testing. The rubber grip also tends to chafe the hands. Its sharp and serrated edges barely cut through the roots and branches. We also saw some rust and oxidation along the spade's edges and its hinges hours after use. All things considered, this folding shovel was indeed portable, but it was a bust in every other aspect. It can dig, sure, but the fact that its handle kept on loosening up was both disappointing and his artist. If you're looking for a smaller shovel, we recommend the SOG instead of the Fubachi. In an unexpected turn of events, we've got the USGI military entrenching shovel at the very bottom of the list. Shocking, we know. We had lots of high hopes for the original military issue e tool. Unfortunately, they were all dashed when we put it to the test. Out of the box, the USGI shovel was unlubricated. We had a lot of difficulty folding and extending the entire device at first use. Compared to the Tac Niner and the Gerber, the USGI's hinges did not feel smooth at all. During our digging and entrenching test, the USGI military entrenching shovel performed poorly. It kept loosening up and, again, its hinges didn't feel secure. On the plus side, it had great grip and came with its own hard carrying case. We were rooting for this e-tool, but based on our testing and experience, the shovel was unfortunately disappointing. There you have it, the top 6 e-tools for camping and survival. To know more about the review, check out the full blog post. We hope that you guys enjoyed this review, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more awesome stuff. Don't forget to leave a comment or share this video to your fellow preppers. That's it for today, guys. Remember, always be prepared.